안녕하세요. Today we're going to learn why a programming language like Python is slower than a programming language like C. By, by the way, I said slower. I didn't say slow. Slower. All programming languages are very fast, okay? They do things fast in our computer, faster than our brains can do it. So they're all fast. Some of them are slower. It doesn't mean they're slow. Computers do not understand humans. Computers speak zeros and ones. Now, humans, we speak code. The main source of nutrition. Programming languages. So we say, for example, if, else, function, variable. We do all that stuff, all right? So as you can see, we speak different languages. Code is here, zeros and ones are here. Two different languages. Now, there has to be a way of translating if, else, function, whatever, to zeros and ones. That process in the middle is called compilation or interpretation. Let me give you an example of interpretation and an example of compilation. So right now I'm in Turkey. Here they speak Turkish. I speak English, so I don't understand them. If I'm walking down the street and some Turkish person comes to me and they start speaking, I wouldn't know. What interpretation would do is that I will have literally my friend here, an interpreter that will be speaking to my ear and translating everything to English. Yes, sir. So I am getting some Turkish message here and my friend is immediately translating everything into English to my ear. That is interpretation. It happens in real time. Now, what is compilation? Compilation doesn't happen in real time. Compilation, first my friend will go, my friend will listen to them and then once my friend understands the sentences, once my friend understands what they mean, my friend will translate the entire message to me. That is compilation versus interpretation. One of them, interpretation, is done in real time and the other one is done not in real time. That, that's what makes a programming language slower and faster. For example, Python is interpreted and C is compiled. So on Python, there is always a person here speaking to the computer the zeros and the ones that he needs to get for every line. And that could be slow. That could be a slow process because there is always a middleman in the middle between your Python code and the zeros and ones. Now, when you work with something like C, C is compiled. That means that after you finish your program, you're going to press compile. The compiler will translate all your code into zeros and ones, and then you will be able to open your program. And of course, it will be faster because the, the, there is no middleman there. Your code will become zeros and ones immediately. And when you open the program, it will be serious in once. There is no middleman there. Now, another example of this, of why the difference between interpretation versus compilation. If my friend is, in, is my interpreter right here, and the Turkish person, maybe he speaks a word that my friend doesn't know, my friend will say, oop, sorry, I don't know. And then we're going to be lost. Right? That would be interpretation. Now, if it was compilation, and that Turkish person speaks to my friend some word he doesn't know, my friend will stop it and say like, hey, I don't know that word. Change the word because I need to translate that and I don't understand that word. That will be the same thing in compilation and interpretation when we have errors, for example. On Python, for example, or even JavaScript, because it's an interpreted language and it happens in real time, my code might have some errors and I might don't know about these errors until they happen. And that is not good at all. I want to know about my errors before they happen, so I can fix them. But because it's interpreted, it will be real time. Now, if it's compiled, for example, when you have a mistake on C or any compiled language, and you try to compile your program, C will tell you, wait, one second, hold on, that doesn't work. I don't understand that, fix it. So you know that once you compile your software using the C compiler, for example, you know that that code doesn't have errors because the compiler approved it, basically. Of course, if you have an interpreter, there is a middleman. If you don't, you have all the power of the zeros and ones and you can access even deeper parts of the computers without a middleman that might be a little bit slow. So that's it. I know I made big generalizations on this video. If you are already a programmer and you're experimented and you like the theory, then I know you're gonna disagree with some things that I said, but I allow myself to generalize because that's easy to explain concepts. I know Sometimes you can make Python a compiled language. There are ways of doing that, 
but generally Python is interpreted and C is compiled. All right, thank you for watching. I hope that you understood a little bit better about how we communicate with computers and I hope that you like my example of my Turkish and my uh, translator. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this video, share it with your friends and don't worry about speed. Really, it's not a big deal to choose the fastest programming language in the world. Not a big deal. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Eat kimchi, be happy and bye-bye.